so you've just had sex and realized the condoms broke or maybe you just forgot to use protection today we're going to be talking about the emergency contraceptive pill also known as the morning after pill or plan b we'll go through all the questions you're thinking but may not want to ask let's get straight into it the emergency contraceptive pill are tablets that can be used after unprotected sex or contraceptive failure. They're designed to prevent pregnancy when taken within the correct time frame. In Australia, there are two main types of emergency contraceptive pills available, levonorgestrel and ulipristal acetate. They work by stopping or delaying the release of eggs so the sperm have no eggs to fertilise. They don't terminate an existing pregnancy and they don't prevent any sexually transmitted infections. Emergency contraceptive pills should be used as soon as possible after unprotected sex or contraceptive failure. Levonorgestrel can be taken up to 72 hours after intercourse. Ulipristal can be taken up to 120 hours after intercourse. Remember, the earlier you take it, the better the chance of preventing pregnancy. You have a 1.3 chance of getting pregnant if you take Ulipristal within 120 hours and a 2.3 chance of getting pregnant if you take Levonorgestrel within 72 hours. If you want something even more effective with less than 0.1% chance of getting pregnant, then speak to your doctor about inserting a copper IUD or intrauterine device. So why not just use Ulipristal if it's more effective? It can be more expensive and you do need to be careful about taking it if you're already taking hormonal contraceptives. We'll go through this in a minute. Whilst emergency contraceptive pills are safe for most women, they may not be suitable for everyone. If you have any medical conditions such as severe liver disease, uncontrolled hypertension, severe asthma, Crohn's disease or diarrhea or vomiting, if you have a BMI over 30 or if you weigh more than 85 kilos and if you're taking specific medications such as certain seizure medications, St. John's wort and certain antifungals, make sure you let your healthcare professional know. And if you're already taking oral contraceptives or planning to use them straight away, then you can't use Ulipristal. Both the Ulipristal and Levonorgestrel are taken as a single dose. The sooner you take it, the more effective it will be at preventing pregnancy. It doesn't have to be with food, but if you do tend to feel nauseous after taking tablets, I always recommend it to take it with food. If you do have any vomiting or diarrhea within two to three hours after taking the emergency contraceptive pill, then make sure you speak to your healthcare professional as you may need another dose. Light spotting or bleeding a few days after taking the emergency contraceptive pill is a very common side effect. Your period should still come around the same time as when it's supposed to, but it may be earlier or later by about a week. If your period is later by more than a week or is lighter than usual, make sure to do a pregnancy test. Other common side effects include nausea, vomiting, headaches, and breast tenderness. These symptoms are generally mild and temporary. In the weeks following taking the tablet, if you get severe abdominal pain or severe heavy bleeding, make sure you speak to the doctor. If you don't usually get a period, make sure to do a pregnancy test four weeks after taking the emergency contraceptive pill, just to be sure. Levonorgestrel is the best one to take if you're breastfeeding. It's safe to use and if possible, don't breastfeed for at least eight hours after taking the levonorgestrel. Here are some other commonly asked questions about the emergency contraceptive pill. I missed my oral contraceptive pill. Should I still take it at the same time as taking the emergency contraceptive pill? If you're taking levonorgestrel, then yes, you can take it at the same time. Speak to your pharmacist as the advice will vary depending on which pill you take. What if I get pregnant? Will it harm the baby? There is conflicting evidence as to whether it will increase the risk of an ectopic pregnancy. This is when the pregnancy occurs outside the uterus. However, the overall risk is very low as the morning after pill is very effective. Will it affect my fertility in the future? The emergency contraceptive pill does not affect your fertility in the future. Can I use this as my regular contraception? You shouldn't use the emergency contraceptive pill as regular contraception. It can get very expensive doing it this way and it isn't an effective regular contraceptive. Speak to your doctor or your family planning clinic to discuss contraceptive options. So that comes to the end of our video. If you're in a situation where you need the emergency contraceptive pill, don't delay and ask your pharmacist. If you found this useful, please support the channel by liking and subscribing and we'll see you next time. Bye!